This is Sim, C-E-M, with Golden Butter Sports. And I'm here to let that butter spread. And I just have to say, Deion Sanders is continually letting his butter spread. And what I mean by that, he's letting his goodness, his greatness, his leadership, his way of doing things spread throughout college football. And, you know, some people, they don't like that. Well, I say to them, so what? The problem with Deion Sanders is that Deion Sanders is Deion Sanders. <laughs> He's being himself. And some people don't like him being himself. They want him to be uh, like the good old boys of the status quo. You understand what I mean? No, that's not Dion. Uh-uh, uh-uh. No, no, Dion is doing it the way he wants to do it. And he's doing it the way it's right. He's not doing anything illegal. And let me just say something about that because Lee Corso had the nerve uh, to say shout out to uh, Kwame Brown for bringing this up. But he had the nerve to bring this up about I don't like Dion's tactics. What tactics are you talking about, Lee Corso? What are you talking about? That's very generic. When you say his tactics, are you saying that he's cheating? Because there's no cheating scandals going on here. Or are you mad at the fact that this transfer portal has allowed Dion to get 83 different players to come? And he also got some coaches to come, too. One was a head coach at another college, and he stopped co coaching just so he could be the offensive coordinator because he saw the talent in Deion Sanders' son to run his offense. So what tactics are you talking about? Make it make it plain, brother. Did he cheat? Not like they used to do, right? <laughs> oh, don't don't lie to yourself. Yeah, college football used to cheat and everybody knew that. And they got players all over the country because they paid him to go there. Let's just get that out of the way. Now you don't have to do that because players are getting paid the way they're supposed to. Because think about it. These college these colleges was making money off of these players. Yeah, they were. They were making money off of these players, and they was pe keeping the money for themselves. Now, you tell me, does that sound right to you? Shouldn't these kids get some of that money? Is it, they making it for you? Shouldn't they get a little piece of it? I think so. Yeah. But, Lee Corso, I'm talking to you, old man. What tactics are you talking about when you say you don't like his tactics? Like, Dion has to meet your approval. He doesn't have to meet your standards. All he has to do is meet the NCAA standards, which is not to cheat. Now, is he cheating? No. So, you come out. Mr. Big Man, holier than thou, you come out and tell us what tactics that he's doing that you don't like so we can go ahead and see if it's tactics that's against NCAA standards or is it just your standards because you don't like how he's doing things now. Hey, that's just the way it is. If he's doing it legally and doing it right, then you have no say-so in the matter. It's best you keep your mouth shut on somebody else's business when they're doing it right. Especially if you don't have if you don't have a leg to stand on about somebody else's standards. Now, in saying that, you know, I don't want to get, you know, too mad about that because Lee Corso means nothing to me as far as his opinion. It's just an old man opinion because he don't like the way things are being done now. Sorry, that's just the way it is. And generally, I don't call people out like that. But when you start attacking people for doing the right thing i have a problem with that so lee corso you come out and tell us what is he doing wrong come on mr big man where you at along with that bad preposition i just used <laughs> another one that i'm gonna call out is what is this what is this skip bayless looking like uh He's been out for a while mad dog i don't know who this is. stephen a smith have him on, has him on his show okay Mad Dog went on record and said, I'm Dion'd out. What are, you, what are you talking about? The man just got started here. 
and you already Dion out? Well, I'm sorry, brother. You just going to have to get Dion that you wasn't talking and talk when he was down there in Jackson State. Where were you then? He was winning down there. Yeah, I said it just the way I want to say He was winning down there. Now, where were you when he was winning down there? You wasn't going down there being Dion down down there. But now he's up here in your neck of the woods. And you have a problem with that because he's winning. Oh, and by the way, he just beat the brakes off of your team. So what's the problem? You Dion out after two games. Well, you're going to have to keep con continue to be Dion out. Because the man is not going to stop winning. Now, is he going to win every game? No, nah, come on. Let's be real. But wouldn't that be something if he did, though? Ooh-wee, man. Mm. But I don't I don't believe that he is. They, you can still see that they have some flaws uh, on the team, and you can still see some weaknesses on the team. You know, the defensive line doesn't get a lot of pressure on the quarterback and things of that. And they, sometimes they have early in the game, they have a problem stopping the run. I'm going to tell you, they might have a hard time with some of these bigger teams uh, late in late in games if the, if they get wore out it, it could happen but who do you know is going around saying that Colorado is going to win the whole thing nobody said that nobody expects that the man just got here with 83 different players and different coaches and he's making that thing work with a two-game winning streak, and it might be three. We never know. Put it like this. Whatever he does from here on out is a success considering where Colorado came from. They were garbage last year and the year before and whatever else. They hadn't done anything in years. Now, look, you have everybody on board. Uh, Mad Dog, or should I just call you Dog, or Dog Mag, or, or just mad. That's what you are. You're just mad. See, I'm going to call people out. When people are doing the right thing, and then you have a problem with them doing the right thing, you're going to have to get called out. See, this is the reason why Dion is rubbing it in people's faces. Because you rubbed it in Dion's face. When he was down there at Jackson State and when he was getting ready to come up, 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 up higher, so to speak. Everybody was writing articles about him, how he wasn't going to succeed and all this junk. I was, you know, I heard some about that. And Dion was calling some of these people out. He heard the talk. You were rubbing it in his face before he even got started. And that's the reason why he's like green alcohol to an open wound. He's going to make it sting now. And so now Mad Dog or Dog Mad, whatever you want to be called, I'm going to just call you a dog for now. What do you have to say now if he's beating the brakes off of your team? You Dion out now, huh? Well, uh, the networks don't think so. <laughs> See, <laughs> you forgot something, partner. Money talks and Dion Sanders prime time coach prime brings money he draws attention was colorado drawing any kind of revenue like they drawing now brother huh since you dion out, the networks don't think so they put they put this man on two weeks in a row i've never seen that harley with a team that was one in 11 they nobody does that and they're gonna keep putting them on there because that money is too delicious. It's too nutritious. Oh, yeah. And everybody wants to get a taste of it. Now, if you don't want a taste of it, then go and eat something else, brother. But right now, Deion Sanders is a draw. His son is a draw. That team is a draw. He's making college football interesting again. Because, quite frankly... I really wasn't looking at college football. They couldn't tell you who was on whose team. I didn't. In fact, just to show you how out of tune I was about college football, I didn't even know who the Heisman Trophy winner was. I didn't. And matter of fact, I didn't know he's still playing. I didn't. I wasn't keeping up with them people. It wasn't a draw to me. 
The NFL is my passion. That's my draw. But when Deion Sanders went to Colorado from where he came from and with all that noise and with all that hate that was going on his way, yeah, yeah, it got my attention. I really wanted him to win that game, especially that first one. Yeah, because it's not hysterical, it's history. He wasn't supposed to win that game. You got a bunch of people talking that talk about, oh, TCU wasn't good. No, you can't have you can't have it both ways. I'm sorry. I'm not hearing you. TCU was supposed to win that game. They were favored to win that game. I don't care how many players they lost. They had enough people to where they were supposed to beat Dion's team. Yeah. And Dion had eight or three different players come over there. And he they played with cohesion. They played with unity. They played with discipline. That wasn't supposed to happen that first game. No, but it did because he coached them up. Yeah, they went into a hostile environment and did what they did. And then they turned around and backed it up, mad dog, and beat your team. And they beat the brakes off your team. That's the same thing you was wishing on deal. But now, now, now the tables have turned. Now the, now, the college football networks, Fox Network and all these other networks, they loving this. In fact, let me just tell you something. It's a great thing that Dion and that team continues to win because it's drawing people everywhere. Did you see that crowd today? Did you see it? It was a whole bunch of people out there. Now, go look at that, go look at that stadium compared to last year. Where were they? Uh-uh, no. No, no. So, you two, Lee Corso and Mad Dog, you can say what you want to. But really, honestly, if you're going to hate, you really need to shut up and let that butter continue to spread the way Dion is spreading it because he knows how to spread it. Now, let's just deal with the fact that they may lose. So? <laughs> so what? So what if they lose? Who cares? He's making college football fun. And I, I'm, I'm sitting up here listening on the radio, hearing these guys, well, what is he going to do when he lose? Well, he's going to deal with it, just like every other, every other person is. What do you mean, what is he going to do? How is he going to handle it? Deion Sanders has lost before. He's lost in the pros. He knows what it's like to lose. So, the thing is, we have these haters out here that's just waiting on him to lose. Don't jump out when he lose because nobody's going to really listen to you. No. So, what if he loses? Okay, he's going to probably lose two or three games. Maybe so. Maybe not. But who cares? If he loses, he loses. It's still going to be a draw. It's just like, it's, I mean, uh, it's utterly sorry to me. To where, okay, now Nebraska was garbage and TCU was garbage. Okay, but you know what? You know what? <sighs> Colorado made them look garbage. How about that? And if you waiting on him to lose, then fine, you can wait. But you're a sorry sucker when you just wait on somebody to fail. Why don't you just enjoy this money-making ride because everybody's going to get on the, on the net and have their little clicks and stuff. They want these clicks. Okay, they're going to get them. So why don't you just go ahead and enjoy the thing and just get a taste of that butter that Deion Sanders is spreading him and his team and his boys is doing this thing. All right? Now, with that being said, you know, we could say more. We could. But with that being said, Let's just continue to let Dion spread that butter real smooth. And for you haters, he's just like green alcohol on an open wound. <laughs> this is Sim, C-E-M, with Golden Butter Sports, letting that butter spread.